and welcome to a tag video. It's that time of the year where I do this tag once again. As usual, I will be leaving the original creator and the questions in the description if you want to do them or see them, I don't know. But there's only a month and a half left of the year, so we are doing this tag. There are six questions and I have modified some of them, like last year, again, because some of them don't really apply to me. I think. So the first question is whether you've started a book that you still need to finish this year, and I've modified it for myself to include a book or a series. And this year I have a lot of series. The only book that I have started and not finished yet is Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer, which I have still not finished. I haven't even tried to finish it, honestly. I'm on page 296. I have around 180 pages left of it, which is easy in theory, but have I read them? No, not since May. It's not that I'm not liking it, it's just something mental that's blocking me from reading this. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna try and finish this, obviously, but we'll see how that goes. As for series, excluding the Renegade series, which I have Arch Enemies and Supernova, which is behind me, to read, I have a couple more series. I have two that are the exact same from last year, which is the Fortuna Sworn series, which I now have three books to read, and the fine print, which I have final offer to read. And a year later, I still have not continued. I don't know what's wrong with me. And the other series that I've started recently and have not finished for obvious reasons is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. So I have a couple of series that I'm in the middle of. I don't know if there's more, but these are the ones that I have at the top of my list, basically. Moving on to question number two, which I have completely changed because originally it's like, do you have a type of book to transition you into winter? I don't. So I've changed that question to be if there are any reading challenges that I still need to finish or that I'm in the middle of. Buzzword has not gone well for me, so I gave up mid-year. I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't even know what the prompts are for the current month or the in December, so I don't know. I just, I gave up on that. The one that I am doing is the Magical Readathon year-long little thing. This, hello. I think it's called like Adventure or something, which I have somehow been able to do all year. I've done every single month so far. I only have obviously November and December left, so I think I'm going to be able to complete it. Hopefully. Question number three is whether I have any new releases that I'm still waiting for, aka anything released from today, which is mid-November, to the end of the year. And I have two that I can think of, and that's about it, um, which are Heartstopper Volume 5, which comes out at the end of the year, in December somewhere, and Gwen and Art Are Not In Love, which I think comes out at the end of this month. <laughs> that is not correct. I'm excited for those two. I probably won't be reading them this year, but I'm still excited. The next question is three books that I still want to read before the end of the year. And this is always a bit, I don't know. Um, do I ever actually complete them? I, I don't know if I have faith in myself, but I will put some books out there that maybe I will actually read. I don't know. I could obviously put all of the series that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but I'm an overachiever, so we're gonna find something else. I'm gonna be kind of nice to myself and just put romance books on this little list. I'm gonna be putting out into the world that I want to read these three books, which are Rumi's by Christina Lauren, Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert, and Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. Why? Because I have loved all the books that I've previously read by all these authors. So I just want happiness right now and I think these will bring me that happiness because they have not failed me before, basically. So these three are the three that I want to read before the end of the year. Yeah. Question number five is whether I have a book that I still think could shock me and become my favorite of the year. Doubt it, but I will look. 
I'm gonna go with two books because I'm like that. So I will be saying these two could potentially, could potentially become, I don't know if I'm saying that word right, could become a favorite, but I doubt it because I've read um, some books that have made me sob profusely and I don't think this is gonna beat that, but I don't know. Um, they could be in the top 10. That's my reasoning. Um, I loved The Love Hypothesis and I loved Fortuna Sworn, so that's my reasoning. And the last question of this tag is whether I've made any reading plans for next year, which I obviously have because I am a planner. So I have some goals that are the same and some goals that are new, modified more than new. I obviously am gonna do 100 books again. Yes, the 100 books might be mostly manga, but I'm still gonna do 100 books. I like the number 100. It's just that, it's like a, it's a good number. So I'm gonna keep it at that. I might change it halfway through the year like I did this year and make it 120 or 140 or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep it at 100 as usual. The next goal I have is the same as last year. I will try next year to participate in my three favorite readathons or reading challenges, which are Buzzword, Magical Readathon, and Bookopoly. I did not do two of them this year, Reading Slump, whatever, but Magical Readathon is always gonna be a priority for me. I will always participate in it, so I will never fail that. Bestie. Another goal that is the same as last year is to lower my physical TBR because this is a problem, as we maybe already know. I currently have around 150 books, again, same as last year, a little bit less. I think it's at 153. Last year was at 157. Whoa! The big difference. I have issues. I would like to lower it. Last year I went a little bit aggressive and I said 100. That's not happening. I need to be more realistic this time. I want to lower it to 130 by the end of the year. I think that's more reasonable. <laughs> that's what we're gonna try next year and lower this to 130. I don't know if it's gonna happen but I'm gonna try. And the last goal I have is a new one which is I want to read the oldest books on my physical TBR, which are books that I've had since before I made this channel for fun. Um, so that would be 2019 and before. Yes, I do have books from that far back, but I have a couple of books that are that have been here for very long and I have not read them, so I want to get to those. Those are kind of a priority next year, and if I do get to them next year before like the midway point of the year, I will try and read books from the first year of this channel, which are a lot of the Brandon Sanderson books. But we're not gonna think about that right now. I just wanna think about the ones that are from before 2019, and I don't know how many they are, but I think it's around under 10, maybe eight. <laughs> I don't know how many exactly, but that's the goal for next year. Hopefully I actually stick to it. <laughs> We'll see. But those are all the questions for this tag. I love doing this tag just because I can put my goals for the next year and for the end of this year out into the world so I can make myself actually do the things that I'm planning. But that is everything for today and I'll see you in my next word video. Bye!